the West's perception of Turkey's president as a barker but not a biter. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan has been a vocal critic of the West in recent years. He has accused the West of hypocrisy, double standards, and supporting terrorism. However, some Western observers have dismissed Erdogan's criticisms as empty rhetoric and have labeled him a barker but not a biter. There are a number of reasons why the West may perceive Erdogan in this way. First, Erdogan has a history of making inflammatory statements, but he has rarely followed through on his threats. For example, in 2017, Erdogan threatened to cut off water supplies to Cyprus if it did not allow Turkey to explore for oil and gas in the surrounding waters. However, Turkey never carried out this threat. Second, Erdogan is heavily reliant on the West for economic and military support. Turkey is a member of NATO, and it receives billions of dollars in aid from the United States each year. Erdogan is unlikely to take any actions that would jeopardize these relationships. Third, Erdogan is facing a number of challenges at home. Turkey's economy is struggling, and there is growing opposition to Erdogan's rule. Erdogan is unlikely to want to start a conflict with the West at a time when he is already facing so many problems at home. However, it is important to note that Erdogan is a complex and unpredictable figure. He is also a very ambitious politician, and he may be willing to take risks in order to achieve his goals. Therefore, it is important for the West to take Erdogan's threats seriously, even if he has not always followed through on them in the past. What does this mean for the West's relationship with Turkey? The West's perception of Erdogan as a barker but not a biter has a number of implications for the West's relationship with Turkey. First, it means that the West is less likely to take Erdogan's criticism seriously. This could lead to a decrease in communication and cooperation between the two sides. Second, it means that the West is less likely to be deterred by Erdogan's threats. This could lead to an increase in tensions between the two sides. Third, it means that the West is less likely to support Erdogan in his domestic and foreign policy goals. This could weaken Erdogan's position at home and make it more difficult for him to achieve his goals abroad. Conclusion the West's perception of Erdogan as a barker but not a biter is a complex issue with a number of implications for the West's relationship with Turkey. It is important for the West to take Erdogan's threats seriously, even if he has not always followed through on them in the past. The West should also continue to engage with Turkey in dialogue and cooperation, even if it disagrees with Erdogan's policies.